how did you find Afghanistan in actually Nuristan province for this project? All the 60,000 trees were now there where before it was just bare ground and rocks. د نورستان طبیعي ښکلا له زړه راښکونکې اغېزه خالي نه ده په دوه زره او نهم لمریز کال کې امریکایي وګړي ښاغلی ډانی مارکوس د نورستان د ځنګلونو د پراختیا لپاره د دې هېواد په ولسي ماموریت کې کار پیل کړ هغه د افغان همکارانو په ملکیا زرګونه نیالګي کېنول او له دې امله په دوهم ناکامورا هم شهرت لري خو دا یوه کلنه پروژه د بیا ځل لپاره تمدید نه شوه ښاغلی مارکوس اوس بیا په دې هیله او تکل ده چې افغانستان ته راشي او دلته د نیالګیو او ونو د پراختیا ورته پروژې پلې کړي مستر ډانی نورستاني مارکوس ویلکم ټو د انټرویو ګډ مورنینګ ګریټ ټو بی هیر هرولا تانکس ا لوټ مستر ډانی وی ویل سټارټ فرام د این سی سی وات واز دس پروجیکټ فور اټس پرپوز just for growing trees or for other issues too? Um, well, that's a great uh, question to start with. And when I was in Nuristan, this project was formed to actually just be a one-year test of a concept that had been used in the United States and other places to see how it works. So it was intended to be a one-year program involving uh, 90 young men from the area around uh, Kalagoosh in Nuristan. And it was primarily one of the outcomes of the project was to produce, uh, to plant and take care of and establish over 60,000 trees. And that was very important. But the project was really intended, uh, the purpose of the Nuristan Conservation Corps, the purpose was truly to bring a group of young Afghan men together yeah. to improve themselves in the communities that they live in. So when I say improving the men, it was to improve them, uh, with uh, jo- give them jobs and an income that they would have for themselves and for their families. Uh, it provided training, education, uh, and an opportunity for their health to be improved, safety, and most importantly, hope for the future. And for the community, it provided trees for the community, an opportunity to cooperate across different valleys and villages nearby. It, it engendered trust, and it also provided security and a link to the communities to the government at the time. Yeah. So it, its purpose was to accomplish many things. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Doni, if we have a focus about that, that how did you find Afghanistan in actually Nuristan province for this project? Sure. Well, at the time I was working for the United States Department of Agriculture, and I was sent to Afghanistan, specifically to the Nuristan province, Uh, and I was on what was called a provincial reconstruction team, which was uh, a collaboration of U.S. military and civilians. So I was one of the civilians on this team, and I was um, sent directly to Nuristan and worked in uh, Kalagoosh in the Nurgaram district. And I found myself there and uh, in thinking of what we could do to help the people, this idea to do a conservation core type program emerged. And so I found myself in Afghanistan in a Nuristan with an opportunity to do this. Fortunately, it all worked out very, very well. Yeah, uh, thanks, Mr. Donnie. And uh, if we have a conclusion about the project, so what were the NCC outcome? Well, what was very interesting When we designed this program, like you asked earlier, what was the purpose of the project? After it was completed, the outcomes and the results of the project matched just perfectly with its purpose. Um, And we defined what outcomes we wanted, like um, a benefit to the young men that participated and a benefit to the community. So the outcomes were just as I described before, the benefits to the young men in terms of their 
jobs that they had, the training and education they received, they improved their health, everyone was safe, and they had a hope for their future, and the community benefited in the same ways, as I mentioned before, with um, all the 60,000 trees were now there, where before it was just bare ground and rocks, and um, they learned how to get along across different um, villages in the area and trust each other. Security was um, no issue at all. It was a very safe environment there. And they saw their government um, delivering services to them that gave people, um, the community, also some hope. Yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Johnny, if we point out specifically, what made the NCC work? Well, it so happens, uh, Harula, when I was in the university, I studied these types of programs, and this uh, NCC, the model that was used to do this project, it had been done before in the United States, almost a hundred years earlier during a difficult time, and it had been repeated across other provinces in the United States and in many, many other countries. So the NCC, what made it work, a few things. It was based on a model that had been proven and proven to be successful. But also, we had an amazing amount of involvement and commitment from the local, gov the local community. We held multiple shuras and met with the leaders of the community and involved them in an authentic way, and we had commitments from the local people, all levels of government, from uh, the Woolis Wall to the Wali to the central governor, government. And we also partnered with a competent and non-corrupt NGO called IF Hope that was operating in Jalalabad. So it was really the involvement and the commitment from all of the, the Afghan uh, government and local community and NGO that made this project so successful. And obviously, it took a lot of hard work and smart work, and people involved really cared about making this project successful. We cared about the young men that were participating, and we cared about the land and the environment that was going to be improved. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Donny, why the project stopped? Uh, what are the reasons that NCC stopped? Uh, don't you, didn't you ask for funds for following years? That's a fair question, Harula, and I wish I had a good answer. Yeah. M much, much work went into securing the initial $675,000 that funded the one-year uh, test program. After that was successful, I did everything in my power to meet and try to get more funds but I was unsuccessful, and I wish that I knew why uh, additional funds weren't coming forward. And as you know, there were a lot of needs in Afghanistan, a lot of competing competition for the uh, funds that are invested in making, it imp making improvements. But all I know is uh, that was then, but we're in a different time now, and I believe strongly that there would be funding to do a technical program like this in the future. But back then, it was quite disappointing, to be honest with you. But I'm staying positive, and what we accomplished in the year was very impressive. And I only wish I knew why uh, we couldn't get more funding, but that was just how it turned out. Yeah, Mr. Donny, if we look a little bit forward, Afghanistan re-experienced political and government change. Are you and your colleagues willing to start this project project again here? I can say I am totally willing to start a new project in Afghanistan based on the NCC model. Now, I've been retired since 2015, so I have no colleagues, but I will build a team if there's an opportunity to do this that would also be enthusiastic about such an effort as doing a project in the future in Afghanistan, just like we did in Nuristan. And I can all but guarantee you it will be successful. 
Yeah, thanks, Mr. Donny. If you have focus about the last question of this interview, uh, Mr. Donny, what is your expectation from the current government if you are willing to start this project? As you mentioned, that you and your colleagues are willing for that. Sure, I I understand that the the current government faces many many challenges um, to uh, deliver the services that will help the people and. I would expect to have full cooperation um, and I would like to have access to the current decision makers in the current government who would have the authority to commit to fully supporting the, this type of project. It would have to be a clear understanding with the contract with the government and whatever organization, NGO, would be involved and the government would have to guarantee they would support it in any way they can. Um, things like cooperating with our efforts to secure funding, and I'm not sure how large or small a project we may want to start with, but also throughout the project from the start to the implementation, whatever government support, you know, technical and administrative uh, support we could have, I would expect that to be forthcoming. Um, and just full cooperation and working with government officials in the um, appropriate ministries to make this project a success. So just full support and access to the people in the government that can help make this project succeed. Yeah, um, Mr. Donny, we are also willing for that moment. Uh, so thank you very much, Mr. Donny, for having an interview with Shark Global TV. My pleasure and my best to you and uh, I continue to wish all the best for the Afghan people everywhere. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.